any new announcements? Ah, uh, marami, maraming marami announcement pa pinopo sa Facebook. Hindi na ba? Sa nakabut no? Ah, gusto ko lang i kuya gusto ko lang i-announce also na aside from the fact na meron tayong uh, mga bagong beneficyo, ang pinakabago namin which came out actually last week was the uh, peritoneal dialysis first policy. Um, meron na tayo pong beneficyo sa dialysis. No, okay. hemodialysis and the other one is the peritoneal dialysis. Pero ngayon ko po, uh, ang ina-advise natin together with the Department of Health and the other nephrologists is really a peritoneal dialysis first policy. Yun muna bago yung hemodialysis. Because accordingly to literature naman and experience, halos pareho lang ang pagiging effective ng dalawa. Uh, mas mura ang peritoneal dialysis and uh, mas convenient for our members because they can do it anywhere and they are the ones doing the dialysis. Mm. So that will be effective uh, 15 days after publication. The reference <coughs> hospital will be the National Kidney, the NKTI, NKTI. Mm -hmm. and we are contracting other hospitals to follow suit. Oh, dapat sana uh, mas maraming hospital doc. Yeah, that's a 270,000 per year package for our uh, dialysis patients. Wow, oh, malaki-laking bagay mm -hmm. din kasi. Yun ang... So parang ang mangyayari niyan kuya ay uh, yung PD solution, yung dialysis solution oh. and the rest of the ginagamit covered na yon. So ang reimbursement sa amin is every two weeks. Every... That's around 10,000 wow. pesos every two weeks wow. kasi Ma may enroll yung pasyente dun sa mm. center, dun niya kukuhanin yung dialysis solution na gagamitin niya. So kahit na halimbawa existing na yung sakit mo na yun talaga, tsaka ka palang magme-member ng PhilHealth? Oh yes. Okay yan, hindi Opo. ba? We just have to wait for <coughs> how many, ano? Uh, three months pa rin. Three, oh, three months, months pa rin, six pa rin. months prior to confinement. Mm -hmm. Or ang maganda dito nga kuya, ang peritoneal dialysis, kahit nasa opisina ka, nasa bahay ka, mm -hmm. kung saan ka abutan na kailangan mong mag-dialyze, magagawa mo yun. Kasi it's a uh, ambulatory dialysis. You don't have to go to a clinic to do that. Mm -hmm. Walang dagdag na premiums. Wala, wala mm -hmm. nagdag tayong premium. Pareho pa rin. No? Pareho Nadun pareho. pa rin ang no-balance billing for our um, poor patients. Added package lang ito, lalabas. Actually, it's an enhanced package because currently we do have already the PD. Mm -hmm. Pero ngayon, mas pinalaki na natin siya kasi 4,000 lang before for 45 days. Now, it's like 270,000 a year. So, a year. Ano yan, yung, every time you go for a dialysis, you can draw from that. Yes. Actually po, ang mangyayari niyan, dahil yun nga, uh, uh, you will be enrolled in a facility at yung facility na yun ang magbibigay na sa'yo ng solution na gagamitin mo every day. Every so, day. tapos, kasi... Oh. Um, Pero yung paggamit ng machine, just... Actually, wala siyang oh, machine. Yeah. Kasi yung pong peritoneal dialysis, meron kayong catheter na nakakabit sa chan. chan. Hmm. Tapos yung solution, yung parang suero, ah, pero nasa plastic, lang. ilalagay mo sa taas, ipapasok mo sa loob yung dialysate solution. So, yun na, if fold mo na yung plastic, ilalagay mo sa bunsa mo, <laughs> after steam. four hours, i-drain mo na siya. So, yung plastic, ibababa mo na lang. After nun, papalitan mo na uli. So, you can do it anywhere. Pero actually. ang problema nun, eh, Pwede ba yan talaga na al uh, alternative doon sa talagang regular dialysis, dialysis na? Actually, Kuya, hindi siya alternative. Mm. It's really a, uh, um, an, uh, a uh, process for the dialysis. <laughs> Dalawa siya, it's either that ambulatory or yung may machine. Uh -huh. And um, ngayon, even, not only in the Philippines, but um, ang trend worldwide is to go for a peritoneal dialysis first. Cost-effective. Mm. Cost-effective siya. Mm. Uh, merong, merong mga... Pero is that as effective as the one na ginagawa talagang nilalabas yung dugo oh, mo? Oh, yes. yes. Gano? Talaga? Yes. Oh, wow. Eh, bakit naman papahirapan ko pa yung sarili ko dun sa gano'n? Oh, okay. Iba mas less pa eh, ano siguro nun, yung pinaka after, uh, parang effect. side effect. Yeah. Ano? Yes, opo. Ang medyo <laughs> ano lang dito, the, uh, ay may chances of infection. Because uh, ikaw mismo ang gumagawa sa sarili mo, may butas kasi yung chan, may tube na nakalagay. Mm -hmm. But of course, prior to be enrolled to the PD, ay tinuturuan ng ating pasyente on how to do it. Pero yan, 270,000 per year. year. Yes, yes. Pero yung sa regular na dialysis that's na... It's a 4,000 uh, uh, package per session for 45 per days. So that's around 180,000. Eh, bakit mas malit yun? Di ba um, dapat mas malaki sana yun? Well, unang-una... Kasi mas ano yun eh, di ba? Yeah. Mas parang... Mahal. O, oh, tsaka mas uh, marami talagang gumagawa nun. Well, unang-una nga, um, there's, we are 
trying to give an incentive for those people who will go into the PD. Okay. Kasi it's the PD first policy right now. Okay. Dapat siya ang mga una actually bago reference ang dialysis. Yun, oh. yun yung reference. So, mm. and, and besides, ang ginagawa nga with this is where we're trying to expand the benefit and we started with this. Hopefully, actually, with the hemodialysis, um, kasi mas ini-encourage natin ngayon for the PD. Mm. But make, uh, don't, uh, para sa ating mga miyembro po, hindi po dialysis ang, uh, ang solusyon mm -hmm. sa end-stage renal disease. Really, it's the kidney transplant pa rin, which we provide for 600,000. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, Will? Uh, kasi we were talking about kidney we, transplant. We were talking about, about the, kidney transplant. Akala ko ramen. Ay, hindi. <laughs> <laughs> kidney transplant, Doc. Doc, yung success rate, kasi maraming, I just had a uh, friend kasi who passed away, and she was only 43. Um, she had a kidney transplant about a decade ago, and then they were trying to look for another um, no, no. donor, but they could not find uh, one to That match. Matched. Is it really hanggang dun lang talaga yung buhay ng isang kidney transplant uh, patient na 8 to 10 years? Well, now? I have a... Uh, I I have a friend who's like uh, 25 years already oh, under the So it depends case talaga, case, case to case. Uh -huh. okay. Ang problema lang kasi kung kidney transplant, syempre marami ka nang magiging uh, bawal. Uh -huh. Pero kung hindi nasusunod nun, later on, pwedeng bumigay ulit ang iyong uh, kidney. And so you have to go through it again. Iba kasi yung added quality of life if they go through a transplant compared to oh, yes. going to the dialysis. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pero yung yeah. ako ano, konti, isang pang tanong, uh, ibang tanong po siya regarding sa membership. Yes. Kunyari, uh, kunyari ilang years ka nang inactive. Hindi, totohanin mo na. Huwag na kunyari. Hindi. <laughs> ilang, ilang, years, yun, ilang years ka nang inactive. So, Angela, Tapos, inactive ka. Okay. Inactive, ilang years na. <laughs> Tapos, gusto mong bayaran yung ano mo, lump sum yung amount ng mga years na hindi ka nakapag... Pwede yun, para magamit mo na right away yung... Hindi po. Currently, wala tayong retroactive payment rule. Mm -mm. So, ang pwede mong bayadan talaga is the current, which is three months within six months prior to... So, alimbawa ngayon, this is like um, third quarter, mm. August. So, pwede mong bayadan July, August, September. Or the fourth quarter. Pero yung pong pabalik, hindi nyo na mababayadan. Yeah. Uh, meron tayong special rules for retroactive, pero isang quarter lang ang pwede. Mm -hmm. And then, have a good standing, di ba? If you have good standing, yes. meaning makita mo dun sa Kung records. Kung makikita na, mo na prior to the missed quarter, ay meron kang tuloy-tuloy na pagbabayad dati pa. Mm -hmm. um, sir, I, uh, Kasi, uh, I, I would think that it would also help feel health if you allow mm -hmm. retroactive. Yeah. The, the person did not get sick. So oh. you're giving him, you're giving the money to the go to the agency for the agency. Well, payment. yes, basically, kasi kahit po magbayad kayo, hindi niyo naman magagamit. Oh. Ang naging ang naging uh, uh, actually ang isang sa naging penalty jan really is kung hindi ka nagbabayad, hindi ka na makakagamit. Mm. But yeah, basically, pwede mo namang isipin na bakit nga hindi tayo magalaw? At yeah. least we have more money, no? Oh. Uh, for that, para magamit din sa pasyente. Um, currently. Uh, Sa batas naman po natin sinasabi na we can have the retroactive rules depending sa inilalabas natin sa pasyent. Sa specific uh, rules na inilabas ng korporasyon. Sa ngayon, we allowed it um, only, only for, for the quarter miss. And hopefully ah, we quarter. can look for uh, na pwede yung mga kahit two years ka nang nakabakante na pwede mm, ma-accept yeah. pa rin natin.